In a world where transit ingenuity is accelerating, one country stands at the forefront with awe-inspiring solutions. Deep in Rotterdam's buzzing core, engineering meets spectacle. Bright yellow amphibious buses glide through the streets, then transform, without pause, into graceful boats cutting through the Moss River. These machines blur the lines between road and water, and they may well redefine the way we think about travel in tomorrow's cities. Before we set off on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and help us reach 500 subscribers so we can keep bringing you the most fascinating videos. Once, the idea of a bus driving straight into a river seemed like pure fiction, but the amphibious bus of Rotterdam is engineering brought to life. Created by Dutch Amphibious Transport in Nijmegen, the amphibus combines rugged construction with dual-mode versatility. On land, it looks like any other full-sized coach. Spacious seating for more than 40 passengers, large panoramic windows, and a distinctive bright yellow body that stands out in the city. But as it reaches the edge of the river, something remarkable happens. Without stopping, it dives in, and in seconds, it is no longer a bus. It's a seaworthy vessel, propelled forward by powerful water jets. The Amphibus is built around a Volvo six-cylinder diesel engine, mounted on a reinforced chassis and encased in a hull designed to keep water out even in rough conditions. It stretches nearly 14 meters in length, more than two and a half meters wide, and towers at almost four meters high. Despite its size, it moves easily at close to 100 kilometers per hour on land, and cruises steadily at about 15 kilometers per hour on water. When it was first tested, the vehicle had to prove it could handle real-world river conditions, including the wake from passing cargo ships. The trials were a success, paving the way for its introduction into regular tourist service. Since its debut in 2010, the highlight of every tour is the splash. For the first half of the trip, passengers enjoy a relaxed city tour through Rotterdam streets, passing landmarks and modern architecture. But then comes the moment they've been waiting for. The driver steers toward the riverbank, the bow of the bus tips forward, and with a dramatic surge, it enters the water. Gasps, laughter, and applause ripple through the cabin as the city tour suddenly becomes a river cruise. The experience has earned rave reviews from travelers, many calling it one of the most unique sightseeing tours they've ever taken. Tickets cost just under 30 euros for adults, with reduced fares for children, but amphibious travel isn't just for buses. The same thinking has inspired a new generation of personal and recreational vehicles that can handle both tarmac and open water. One standout is the Bisky, a creation from Gibbs Sports Amphibians. At first glance, it looks like a bulky scooter, but hidden within its streamlined frame is the ability to transform into a jet ski in less than five seconds. On land, the Bisky can reach speeds of around 130 kilometers per hour, on water, it glides effortlessly at 60 km per hour, powered by twin water jets. Stabilizers keep it steady in waves, while its lightweight composite body makes it agile and responsive. For riders, it's a thrill that combines the freedom of a motorcycle with the fun of a personal watercraft. Another innovation from the same company is the Terraquad. It resembles a rugged side-by-side off-road vehicle, complete with a roll cage and seating for two. On dirt trails, it charges ahead at speeds approaching 80 km per hour, hit the shoreline, and with a quick mechanical shift, its wheels retract into the body to reduce drag. Moments later, it's skimming across the water at over 60 km per hour. Built for strength and stability, the Terraquad can handle demanding terrain one moment and wide open bays the next. Amphibious technology also appears in more traditional sightseeing tours. Duck boats, for example, have been a fixture in cities like London, Boston, and Singapore for decades. Originally based on World War II military landing craft, these hybrids have been adapted to carry passengers through both streets and waterways, offering a different perspective on familiar landmarks. And while tourism has been a key driver of amphibious development, the technology's potential goes far beyond leisure. Take the Yangwon U8, a cutting-edge electric SUV from China. In normal conditions, it behaves like a high-performance off-roader, but in the event of sudden flooding, it can switch into a floating mode, sealing its body and using its four independent electric motors to propel it at low speeds across the water. 
It's the first production SUV in the world to offer such a feature, staying afloat for up to 30 minutes and moving at about 3 km per hour, enough to reach safety in an emergency. Then there's the Watercar H1 Panther, an American-built machine based on the legendary military Humvee, stripped of heavy steel and rebuilt with lightweight aluminum and stainless steel. It houses a powerful Chevrolet LS3 V8 engine. On land, it roars up to 112 km per hour. On water, it can hit 65. The transition between modes takes less than 20 seconds, making it a true go-anywhere, do-anything vehicle. Inside, it carries up to six passengers in comfort, ready for both off-road adventures and open-water crossings. All these examples point to a bigger story, the growing relevance of amphibious transportation in the modern world. In tourism, these vehicles turn ordinary city tours into unforgettable experiences. In emergency management, they offer a lifeline in floods or natural disasters, and for everyday transport in coastal or island communities, they could reduce the need for expensive bridges and ferry systems. They also push the boundaries of engineering. Designers are finding ways to make vehicles lighter, stronger, and more versatile, combining automotive handling with marine stability. New materials like advanced composites and corrosion-resistant alloys are making amphibians more reliable and longer-lasting. And as electric and hybrid powertrains become more common, we may soon see amphibious vehicles that are not only capable but also environmentally friendly. From the bustling streets of Rotterdam to the thrill of a personal jet ski motorbike, the age where land meets water is no longer a distant dream. It's already here, splashing into reality with a mix of bold design and practical utility. The only question is how quickly the rest of the world will dive in. Stay curious, because the next time you're at the water's edge, the future might just drive straight in and keep going.